So I'm about to try Galactic Conquest for Thrawn's Revenge. Can't wait to... What is this? Oh my god, what am I looking at? What am I looking at? What does this mean? What is this? Hello there, lords and ladies. I am the Mighty Gammon. And today we sensually explore the Galactic Conquest mode as Prawn's personal army, the Empire of the Hand. Let's begin. After my initial confusion at the utter smorgasbord of information on display, I began looking over my planets to see which one had minority soldiers that I could send to die on frontline worlds. Prawn's Revenge lets you build hangars that are shaped like the letter H. Y you see what they did there? Hangar starts with a H, and this hangar is shaped like an H. <laughs> I formulated a strategy to bolster my fleets in preparation for the inevitable onslaught of cretins from deep space. I would purchase funny looking ships at random because a real strategist chooses appearance over utility every time. No, I wasn't dropped on my head as a child. Well, maybe once. Maybe once or twice. Now that I had an arbitrary number of ships with funny names, I was ready to focus on- Oh, crumpets, what is this? It's Admiral Squidbar the nonce and his army of fish people. He had come to stop my illegal salmon trading operation on Krista. The Empire of the Hand's ships are really cool to watch. They're more streamlined than the usual Imperial vessel, whilst being a bit smaller. My personal favourite one is the hybrid Imperial and Chiss Star Destroyer. This looks like a shovel. And you know what they say about shovels? You can shovel these nuts! Once the fight began, I performed a tactic I like to call watching the space men shoot at each other whilst not issuing any orders. 40% of the time, it works every time. The variety of units in this mod makes every battle just as interesting as the last, with so many new and redesigned ships on the field simultaneously. Variety is the spice of life, or so they say, although spice isn't always a good thing. Actually, black pepper is too spicy for me. Prawn's ground forces remind me of the Brotherhood of Nod from Command and Conquer. They plod along looking like idiots. Dumb idiot men, whilst causing a lot of damage. I've noticed the Empire of the Hand units are essentially glass cannons for the most part. Like a loud child at church, they cause a lot of chaos, but you can shut them up easily with a good dropkick. Apparently, the Patricia alignment acquired giant triangles quickly on the galactic map, so making them your priority target is sensible when playing as Colonel Prawn. With this in mind, I attacked South Sudan with my strongest fleet. Some planets in this mod can be upgraded to construct Dreadnought class ships. These massive triangles, or fish, are fleets in themselves and are devastating to encounter. South Sudan is one such planet, so in taking this, I deprive Patricia of her Dreadnought facility. The thing with ground battles in this mod is that the army size limit is still in place from the base game, but the defender gets 400 times more units. This means I either make a mad dash to capture a second control point, or this happens. Oh, come on! How are they here already? Way, you've got some Clone Wars tech. Nice. Oh, come on! How have they taken that already? Way, the bombs worked. Oh, come on! Okay, we're attacking again. This time I'm ready for them. This time I'm not ready for them. How the hell am I supposed to win with these dipshit units? Your base will fall to the British Empire- the Empire of the Ha- <laughs> So anyway, I also resolved that bollocks and moved on to their capital planet. Their fleet wasn't massive, but they had a triple threat of defence platforms. My tactic here was to overwhelm them with fire whilst my laptop slowly melted. If the game crashed, I can claim it's a win, you see. Usually, I don't summon heroes because they die permanently in this mod, but this was a job for Dr. Prawn himself. Boosting my fleet would give me the advantage over... So anyway, I walked into oncoming traffic. With the space battle won, the ground battle for their capital city was moments away. Would this be an epic multi-stage fight to rip their home planet from under them? Claw my way to their base with tooth and nail? Utterly decimate all remaining hope for their empire to throw I was I burnt their cities as cinders? I, t I don't know, because I also resolved it. Luckily, the game tells you which planets are about to be attacked, so when the enemy counterattacks, you're able to throw together a defence. Unfortunately, Patricia sent an entire planet at me. This is just rude, is what it is. No decorum whatsoever, Patricia. Luckily, with fighter superiority, even the largest triangle can be destroyed. Triangles are trash, bro. This statement was made by Square Gang. I honestly think I'm starting to get the hang of this mod. Reporting in. What's this now? Oh Jesus, the fish people are back. I'm uninstalling this mod. Oi lads, you made it this far. I got that Skywalker saga thing from Lego. Expect the next video to be on that. You can go now. Bye.